Uh, but we move on to our next story. There was an alien invasion at Expo 2020 in Dubai to celebrate the National Day of France. Now, the France National Day was greatly celebrated at Expo 2020 in Dubai and had it the most futuristic guests. Now, Expo 2020 in Dubai opened just on um, Friday officially to the public on October 1st and already it's generating a lot of buzz with their daily shows and entertainment and you might be wondering what It's not French National Day, but you're right. Each of the country's pavilions will host an Expo National Day to showcase their culture from food to technology and even design. And as for those guests that came to celebrate France's National Day at the biggest event in the country, they are rather peculiar. They're tall, walk on four legs, and are silver. So in short, an alien invasion took over Expo 2020 in Dubai to celebrate the National Day of France. Uh, so incredible. And also His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rasha Maktoum, Vice President and Prime Minister of the UAE and ruler of Dubai, he actually met with Jean-Gilles Ladrian, uh, the Foreign Affairs Minister of France. They both discussed the strategic partnership between the UAE and France, as well as Expo 2020's focus on building a better future for humanity. Now accompanying them was also His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum and Maktoum bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. Uh, there and I actually cannot believe we've got to 10 minutes of this show our first live show since the opening ceremony and not just dis- discussed expo how do we expo. do it <laughs> like it but it's who like we've spoken about expo for years and years and years and we had the opening ceremony and it was it's just it's been all for me and my friends it's been all we've spoken about because I don't think I really understood how Uh, what an incredible thing is happening there at the expo site until I actually went to visit it on Friday. And I would just like, I would just urge you to go if you haven't been, if you like, I'm sure not everyone has been just yet. Yeah. Um, first of all, opening ceremony. We were here live discussing it with you um, and then we broadcast it. Were you watching it? Were you impressed? Uh, we certainly were. We, oh my God, the shows, the lighting, the magic, the star studded event was just. such a spectacle and it's something that we'll, we'll be remembering for years and years to come for sure uh, for sure we had all of the incredible uh, performers a quick recap we had Andrea Bocelli Ellie Goulding um, all of the set production was incredible of course Lang Wang was there uh, Mohammed Abdu um, so many performers and such a spectacle and watching the VIP arrives and what really impressed was uh, the the not the stadium but the Al-Wassel dome which is yeah. the largest dome and actually when I went on Friday and seeing that in real life so that is the centerpiece for the expo site so there's three districts and you can drive and park at each or you can get the metro directly into the Al-Wassel dome which is just incredible off you hop and there you are in this uh, nearly at the center and the Al-Wassel dome itself will also have part of the daily shows it'll also be continuous so when I walked there at let's say 1 p.m on Friday It, it looks just as stunning in the daytime as it does at night. And then you can kind of see, so there's, it's the largest uh, projection installation in the world or the most impressive or something. Um, and what the, how they've managed to uh, project, I guess, the world on it and all of those beautiful oh designs. God. And it just looks as impressive in the day. And they actually have like, um, I guess they have a sound? sound effects. So as you walk up, you could hear like birds chirping and there's a lot of like nature incorporated and you just feel like you're nearly walking to this like greenhouse nearly, but then it's also you're half outside, half inside. It's just amazing. It's just fantastic. Okay, I can't, so I can't believe it. Your stories, I wasn't there, but I'll tell you how mind blown I was. Firstly, Casey was there at the same time. Sheikh Hamdan was there, the crown prince. Baza. He, he got the metro. I was meant to get the metro because I've heard that it's the easiest way to get there and you hop off. However, then I was somewhere else and I had a lift, so I took the lift. Oh my God. But no, but I'm sure you wouldn't have seen him on the metro anyway. He would have been surrounded by bodyguards and But that's personnel. the thing though. I, think, I don't think so. I think they, uh, when I've seen, I've actually been um, in the company of Hassan Sheikh Mohammed Barash to ruler of Dubai in public. And they, yes, they're surrounded by people, but they also walk among the people. And that's what's so, <laughs> that's what's so incredible. I guess I've never experienced them walking around. But yeah, I mean, if, if so, if it happened, that anyway, would have been incredible. Pick myself not to get the metro on Friday Number morning. two, Casey <laughs> was given a personalized message by Messi himself. Uh, well, <laughs> so when I got to Expo, first of all, 192 pavilions representing the countries. And then there are also other pavilions. So I think in total over 200. Um, I was there for a couple of hours and I... I, I only got a tiny glimpse 
um, of the incredible pavilions that are there. And one of the pavilions I was in was the Plus Pavilion, uh, which is part of Pepsi, who are the official snack and beverage partner. And uh, inside, there's like so many things that you can kind of play with and interactive and immersive. And you really have to go and try them all for yourself to really, I guess, experience it. Um, one of the things was I spread hope. So I like put a little bubble of hope. up into the like uh, technology atmosphere, I guess. And one of the other things um, was you could like type a little message and Messi on AI says, hey, Casey, or you can send a message. So example, if your best friend is a Messi fan, I was actually able to send a message from Messi to my boyfriend. On on his phone when he was not there? So I sent it. So I got like, and then Messi like says, hey, Jamie, we'll see you at the next match. And then it's it's awesome. So I sent that to Jamie, which is pretty cool. On via text message. Yeah, so he wasn't there. So I just like downloaded the video and sent it. He was like, what is this? That is so cool. And it's very lifelike. But like, that's just like, there's so much. And even as you walk in, to be honest, if you're going, plan it out. We always say like, we're going to talk about the calendar events all the time, but there's so much that, When you go, I just parked at any car park mm. and then I arrived into the mobility district and I was beside Australia and Sult- uh, the Oman uh, pavilion and every single pavilion, guys, you've probably seen videos already. They are whopper. They are so cool. And like you see, I thought actually the best one was the one, uh, the best one was the, the Swiss pavilion because it was the middle of the day. So actually, and there's still people arriving in. And the one with the biggest queue was Switzerland. And it was a, just a really impressive building. And then everyone at the Swiss Pavilion got umbrellas. So, oh. And it was quite hot. So you could just see like, everyone kind of going towards that one to get the shade. But it, it created such a cool view because there's, there was like 25, 30 people with these big red umbrellas. And then it's like mirrored on top. So it, it creates this like metal, silver. It creates this really cool illusion. Um, and that was just one of But there's so much there. If you've gone, let us know your favorite pavilion because we need to make a hit list. If there's no chocolate in the Swiss, for, Swiss pavilion, I would be very disappointed. Word from us to you. Anyway, but 